Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a safe Memorial Day weekend, and today is indeed Memorial Day 2024. Uh, but I wanted to come on here because I've talked about this before on a few occasions on my channel, but it, it seems that I just, I cannot, you know, just get over the fact that, I mean, I get that a lot of people that I know, my mom, some friends I went to high school with, and members of my own family, you know, cousins and such, I get that they love, you know, channels like Hallmark. I get it. But let's be honest. Let's be honest, okay? And I've talked about this before. A lot of what you see on Hallmark, you know, as far as movies are concerned, you know, with a few changes here and there, few lo change in locales, you know, changes here and there in the script, of course, change in actors or actresses. Pretty much what you see, whether it's a comedy, a drama, a dramedy, which is drama and comedy, or whatever the case may be, we pretty much should all admit that what we see is pretty much the same story over and over and over again. I mean, it's, it's no secret. It's absolutely no secret that that's what we see. I mean, come on, how many times are we going to have a comedy, you know, made for TV, made for Hallmark Channel, uh, you know, comedic movie, where it's pretty much almost beat for beat the same as what we saw before. And even the same with a drama, the same with a dramedy, you know, like I mentioned, you know, moments ago, with the exception of maybe the change in locale, of course, the change in the title of, of the movie, you know, maybe a change of actor or an actress. It's almost beat for beat the same thing. And what I mean, and I say this with all due respect, is it's basically the whole, you know, situation where, let's say, a character, male or female, you know, ends up, you know, like I was saying, um, basically, you know, when you really look at it, I mean, it's, I mean, it's plain almost as day that, you know, it's just the same story we see all the time. Whoever the main character is, male or female, ends up in a situation, ends up in being new in town or being transferred to a certain location, da, 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 or, hey, they got to do this, or they got to be assigned to this to probably get, you know, this, you know, in return. And what happens? They end up, you know, going and, you know, they end up having to do that. And they meet several different people who kind of befriend them, are suspicious about them. And then, of course, they end up meeting their love interest, the one that basically they, you know, swoon over or get uh, attracted to and, you know, start crushing on and everything. And it's almost... <laughs> It's almost like beat for beat. It's almost like beat for beat, you know, the same, you know, situation. You know, uh, basically you have the main character, you know, she's she or he is falling for the other person. And, you know, you have a situation here that happens that kind of conflicts things. And then you potentially have a rival or a misunderstanding. And then, you know, basically third act comes around and, you know, they, you know, get through the rivalry or the misunderstanding. They come to an understanding. And then, of course, there's the potential like, uh, well, we, we thought we'd get the happy ending, but we don't. But then there's the twist that, yeah, you're going to get the happy ending after all. You know, and it's because that main character decides, um, you know, I don't need that promotion. I'm happy where I'm at. I want to stay where I'm at and everything and so so on and so forth. When in fact, it's just the way of saying if it's male or female, um, you know, it's just a way of saying, and again, beat for beat, that, you know, when they decide, oh, I don't need a promotion. I think I've come to like it here. I'm going to move here and da, da, da. You know, it's just a way of saying, you know what, I've fallen in love and I don't want to leave the person I love, so I'm going to stay here now. And, you know, and that's it. That's it. And also, let's face facts too. And I say it with all due respect. I say it with all due respect, no offense, 
when it comes to the female uh, leads in these films, in, in these made-for-television Hallmark films, you know, but the truth is the truth is out there. And that truth is, you know, they get portrayed, and again, I say this with all due respect, no offense, they get portrayed not just in the way I just, you know, not just in the manner and way I just mentioned, but they get portrayed somewhat as being like, you know, not only do they go through the misunderstanding, but it's pretty much plain as day that the main objective, you know, first and foremost, and even after everything is resolved, you know, and they end up winning, you know, they end up winning over that guy that they've fallen for, the main objective, and it's no fault of the actresses, you know, that portray, that take these leads, you know, to take on these roles, these leads characters, you know, but the way they're portrayed, you know, outside of everything I've mentioned is, you know, they just want to bed, you know, you know, they just want to bed uh, the person they have fallen for. I mean, there's no easy way of saying it. That's pretty much what it is. They just want to get it on with that individual. I mean, again, they could be put into that lead role, you know, where, again, like I mentioned earlier, they have to do certain things and then you get your, you know, your uh, two, three act structure of, there's, you know, they might see a potential rival, there's a misunderstanding, you know, then of course you got the twist of, oh, they're not going to, you know, be with the person they've fallen for and instead they're going to go back and get this, get this uh, award or whatever they're going to go for, but then it turns out, oh, they're going to stay and everything because they decided they like it better, but mostly in turn it's because they fall in love with this individual and now, you know, and now, you know, you know, the future is up in the air depending on, let's say, Hallmark wants to do a follow-up or something. But again, the way the female uh, leads are portrayed here, and again, I say it with all due respect, no offense, you know, it's not just everything, you know, it's not just all of that, but, I mean, let's be honest, you know, depending on what kind of story is done, because again, it's basically beef for beat the same story, despite title change, locale change, maybe actor and actress changes, you know, sometimes, and I'm not saying that the male leads are not at fault of this either, you know, they are, you know, the male lead characters, the actors that portray them, again, it's no fault of theirs, no fault of others. It's just the way they're written, right? So to me, I think it's mainly the fact that when somebody writes a script, you know, for a story that's going to be beat for beat similar to one that happened, you know, prior, you know, and it portrays the character of going through all those moments that I mentioned, you know, it's, again, it's no fault of the actor or the actress. It's just the way they are you know, coached and everything to, to portray the character and some, you know, and, and, you know, as, the, as that character is written and the way they do it is it basically makes it look like, you know, it, you know, it basically makes it look like it's coming off as if they just want to get intimate. They just want to get it on with, you know, the person they're falling for. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's, you know, it's the female leads and the male leads, but unfortunately, and I say it with all due respect, no offense, it's more so the female leads. You know, it's their lead characters that the actresses portray. And again, I say it with all due respect, no offense, because it's no fault on the actress. It's just the way that character is written. And because, and, and you know, it's like all, and it, it's just, I'm trying to find the right word to say here, but it's just so weird that, you know, Hallmark, if they, you know, it's like Hallmark just doesn't want to, you know, come out and say, you know, say the truth. You know, it's like, it's like the, the people behind these films don't want to just come out and say the truth. Because you can't tell me, you know, they don't, you know, get criticism, you know, from people that watch it and be like, oh, well, this girl just wants to get it on with the guy. Or this guy just wants to get it on with the girl. Because they can see it. It's like you can have, them, you can have these lead characters go through all these trial and errors all you want. But when the audience pretty much sees the same kind of story or a story very similar beat for beat and they see exactly how a certain character is written and how they, that actress or actress portrays them on television in that movie it's like okay who are they kidding you know this this individual this character this lead just is getting is just getting aroused if you will they they want to 
you know, flame on, if you will, when it comes to this person they're falling for. And and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And again, you know, it's like, oh, and it's, it's like the people behind it, you know, just don't want to come out and say, yeah, that's, yeah, you know, one of the criticism we get is that our lead actor or actresses characters uh, in these films are pretty much, you know, gaga over the person they fall for to the point that they want to get it on with them. You know, they, you don't have any of the directors or writers behind the, but you know, the script writers behind these movies coming out and say that because they know pretty much, you know, they'd be admitting to what everybody already knows that, oh, well, if it wasn't for Hallmark, this would be pretty much an NC-17 triple X, you know, rated movie, you know, and that's it. Or an R-rated, you know, movie with, you know, a strong, you know, um, intimate, you know, very risque, intimate scenes, you know, and because that's what it's like. It's like, basically, all you have to do is just like, put a, you know, put a sign above the guy's head or the girl's head, the lead act, the lead female character, or lead male character's head, just put a sign above them when they're meeting the, the person they've fallen for in the movie, and that sign just says, hey, uh, you know, but it should be just a sign saying, you know, let's get it on, let's go to your, let's go to your, let's go to your home and get it on, you know, let's, or well, basically, they should just like have an imaginary bubble, you know, pop over the. Sorry about that, but like I said, you know, they should just like have, you know, like a, a an an image bubble, like a thought bubble, just appear over their head, you know, with a, a cartoonish drawing version of of them and and the person they're falling for, and them just grabbing the person and, you know stripping them down, you know, naked along with themselves and then just throwing them onto the bed and then jumping on the bed with them, covering each other up with a bed sheet and getting it on. That's, that's basically, you know, the, the vibe that these characters give off. And again, it's no fault of the actor or the actress that, you know, gets put into these leads. It's the people that write, you know, the script and how they're portrayed. And if you're wondering why, you know, some movies from Hallmark are not big hits and some are. It all depends on whether or not the people that are behind them want to portray the characters that way. And, you know, I'll give them, I'll give it credit. You know, some Hallmark movies, you know, are not like that. You know, some might be similar in tone, but they're, you know, but they're completely innocent. You know, they're not like so obvious. And if they are, they're not so like obvious to the point that the character pretty much is, you know, pretty much um, without even shouting at the you know, top of the lungs, you know, saying, hey, you know, let's get it on kind of deal. You know, you know, it's done differently. It's done gradually. It's done in a way that you, you feel more is more believable, you know, and not so obvious. But still, a majority of the films that they've done, it's like, yeah, what are you going to do? You know? Again, it's no fault of the actor or the actress that get put into lead roles. It's no fault of the other actors and actress that get put into the roles of the love interest or anything like that. It's the way they're written. It's the way they're written. And again, that's why when I look at some of these movies, they're just beat for beat the same movie. Whether it's a comedy, a dramedy, you know, a drama, whatever, it is the same freaking movie. You know, whether it's a different title, you know, whether it's uh, set in a different locale, whatever, it is the same movie. Different actors and actresses, doesn't matter. And to me, what Hallmark needs to do, and they're not alone in this, Lifetime does it, you know, a We Network does it, E, you know, a lot of networks do it. Let's be honest, a lot of them do. Even the big, even the big, uh, th even three of the big five, you know, that being ABC, NBC, CBS. You know, they do it. You know, even Fox on times will do it if they, you know, get, um, if they get enough money to say, hey, you know, okay, we'll broadcast such and such movies for you. You know, same with the CW. Um, you know, they're, they're not innocent in it either, but still, you know, it's like something has to change. You know, something has to change. 
Now, I know some people might say, well, they do something similar with big time movies, you know, theatrical blockbusters and everything. And yeah, they, they do. But the, but as I've mentioned before, what makes it different is even though you get a similar tone, you know, and a similar story, they do it in a way to where it's not beat for beat the same thing. You know, they do it in a way to where a lot, to where it's like, yeah, you're going to pretty much know what's going to happen because it's very, the story is very similar to what you've seen before. But the way they do it is not beat for beat. It's different. It takes, you know, a lot of twists and turns and goes here and there, and it keeps you invested, you know, until the very end. But when it comes to these made-for-TV movies from Hallmark and Lifetime and We and even, like I said, the big, the the big five, if you will, of the bro- over the air broadcast, it's like, you know, they need to change. They need they need to change, and they need to let the people that write the scripts for these, you know, they let them they need to let them know, hey, don't make it seem so obvious that our lead female character, our lead male character, you know, want to pretty much, you know. Go to town, if you know what I mean, with the love interest in the film, you know, because that's the kind of vibes they'll give off. But overall, that's just my opinion. Again, you know, maybe people look at it differently than I do. I know my mom likes Hallmark. I know my, some members of my family, cousins and all that like it. I know friends I went to high school like it. But I think if you were to ask them straight up, honestly, you know, whether or not the movie is pretty much this, you know, the movie they just, they're going to see, it's pretty much beat for beat similar, or they just saw, it's pretty much beat to beat similar for one they probably saw the, the night or the week prior. If you had to ask them to give you an honest answer, they probably would say, yeah, it is. You know, it, you know, but there are some differences. There are some differences, but, you know, we'll just have to, um, We'll have to wait and see, we'll have to just wait and see what Hallmark does in the future. But if I'm them, you know, and I'm working with some of these big, you know, big networks like Peacock, you know, the streaming service there and all that, courtesy of Comcast, NBC, you know, if I'm them, I might want to reconsider who I, you know, hire on to, you know, write the you know, script for my movies because, you know, if I, you know, because I. If I'm Hallmark, I don't want to make it too obvious that it's B for B, pretty much the same movie with a different title, different locale, and all that. But I also don't want to make it too obvious that it's B for B, pretty much the same kind of story where it's just, you know, the ma- the lead male, the lead female wants to, you know, get it on with the love interest they mate due to the circumstance they're in. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment down below, live chat during the premiere, like the video. Uh, let me know if you've noticed it. And until then... In, um, I will talk to you later, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, and until then, have a good day, and I am out.